Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club and today we will be solving Code Forces round 756 Div 3 E1. So uh, there is a person called Vlad and he built a maze out of n rooms and n minus 1 bidirectional corridors. And from any room U to any room, B, room V there can be reached through a sequence of corridors. Basically it's an undirected tree. So we have been given an undirected tree and also he invited key of his friends to play a game with them. So the game is something like this that Vlad starts from game in the room number one and if and if he reaches a room other than one which leads exactly to one corridor then he wins or else if the friends are placed in the maze the friend with number i is in room xi we have been given which friend is in which room and no two friends are in the same room we have been also been given this and friends will if one of them meets Vlad in any room corridor before he wins okay. So basically, uh, we have been given something like this. Okay. So basically, in the problem, it's been said that we will be given a tree and Vlad will always start from room number one. Here, my Vlad will start from room number one and my friends will be in this red uh, red zones. Okay. We, have, we will be given uh, where friends are currently and he want to go to any of the leaf nodes. He can go to four, he can go to eight, he can go to seven and he can go to 6, okay, 6 and 7, but he cannot go to 1, the only restriction is that from where he is starting, he cannot go there, okay, uh, and if in the path, in the journey, if the friends catches him, uh, he, he loses, or if he can go to the, any of the leaf node without being caught, then he wins, uh, basically the game is like this, and uh, every second, uh, Vlad moves one step, and his friends moves one step, so this was not a tough problem. I would say that uh, problem number D was tougher than problem number E1 uh, because it's a classical shortest path algorithm problem. You just need to find shortest path from uh, where Vlad is starting. So you could find all the shortest path from Vlad is starting and all the shortest path from uh, where his friends are. So you could do a multi-source BFS or a Dijkstra's algorithm, whatever you want from <clears throat> the friends and also one more you need to one do one more dextra algorithm or you can do multi-source bfs since the weight it's a non-weighted graph and all the weights are just one you can assume to it to be one uh, you can do a multi-source bfs and a single bfs from um, where vlad is starting and where the friends are starting <clears throat> and after that you just need to compare that my distance when vlad will reach here what is the maximum distance covered by him and what are the maximum distance covered by his friends Vlad will only win if it's a leaf node and the distance covered by Vlad or the time taken by Vlad is strictly less than uh, time taken by his friends. Also, there is a uh, catch to be noticed here that uh, your uh, whenever you leech, uh, reach a leaf node, uh, the time taken by your friends and Vlad will never be same. Why it will never be same? Because it's uh, the degree of leaf node will always be equal to one. And when the degree is equal to one, <coughs> Either my friend will uh, already be here or my friend will be somewhere else. If to reach, if to reach the leaf node at the same time, he has to be here or something here uh, in the previous state. And if the previous state, if they both are in the same place, then uh, Vlad is already being caught. So basically we can say that uh, he is caught if he, in, in any of the leaf node, he um, comes strictly in lesser time. So what I did in the code is that... Uh, let me show you my code. This was a classical problem. This was not a tough problem. If you have solved few of the shortest path problems. Okay, let me show you my code. So what I basically did is that I created a graph. Uh, it's a vector of array and or I would say, yeah, it's a vector of area and then a map which will hold the degree of all the nodes and I just created a function for Dijkstra's algorithm and let's just uh, take it as a black box and let's assume that it works right now because it works I have just copied my template and <clears throat> I just uh, cleared my degree because it's a multiple test case file I, I'll just clear my graph and I'll just clear my uh, degree all the time because it's a multiple test case problem and uh, every test case results a new problem and then I just what, what did I do uh, I just like to do it like this that I will just make a node called God and connect all my friends to God which will have degree uh, which will have a weight of zero that means that I do not need to do a multi-source BFS I can do a single BFS from God to God and I did a 
Dijkstra from uh, I just I didn't use multi source BFS but I used Dijkstra's problem but you can do multi source BFS like this also this will also work and I did a Dijkstra from my node uh, which will be always one root and then I did from God and just I then compared if my degree is one and my distance uh, taken by Vlad is strictly less than their friends then my answer is yes and I just returned and if this does not work I just printed no and that's it. I guess that if you have solved a few, I will again say that if you have solved a few say, shortest path algorithm problem, this is a classical problem. There was nothing much in this question. And that's about it for today. Thank you.